President Muhammadu Buhari has said all mismanaged and misappropriated national assets recover will be sold off. He said the proceeds will be paid into the Treasury for benefit of the country. According to a statement by Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Garba Shew, the President spoke when he received representatives of social groups in Daura Emirate. Buhari said his administration will continue to pursue a robust, effective and legitimate anti-corruption campaign that safeguard the Treasury and Commonwealth of all Nigerians. The president said he would not allow a repeat of what happened in the 1980s when buildings and other ill-gotten properties seized by his military administration were returned to the corrupt officials following his ouster as head of state. He told the group that the all-progressive Congress-led government will consolidate on the gains and monumental achievement in the development of infrastructure across the country. On agricultural development, the president promised that the federal government will sustain the provision of funds, improve seedling and fertilizer to farmers to ensure that the sector remains the largest employer of labor in Nigeria. The Nigerian Senate says the poor state of infrastructure of Nigerian prison make them unstable facility for reformation of inmates, stressing the urgent need for immediate prison reforms. This was made known at a public hearing by the Senate Committee on Interior in Abuja. Declaring the public hearing open, the Senate President Bukola Saraki who was represented by the Senate leader Ahmed Lawan, said the current state of despair of Nigerian prison make it a national embarrassment and as such underscore the urgent need for things to be done right to reposition the prison system. We agree that there is a lot of work to be done and that it would need a lot of collaboration between the legislature and interested parties to ensure a comprehensive prison reform in Nigeria. I believe that we need a new approach to prisons decongestion. It is a national scandal that many prisons are overcrowded by up to 90%. Urgent new measures should be put in place to speedily decongest prisons, not only in the interest of justice, but to save costs for prisons, maintenance, and enhance the welfare of the prisoners. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Interior, Senator Andy Uba, and a member of the committee, Senator Oluremi Tunubu, says it is important that Nigerian prison environment be conducive for nursing mother and their children. Incorporating an articulate youthful offenders program into our prison reforms. They also seek an upgrade on deplorable prison facilities, the congestion of, our, of overpopulated facilities, biometrics record keeping, and improvement in health and general welfare of inmates. Of great importance is the care for pregnant inmates, nursing mothers, as well as care for their infants. We believe that the mother is the primary giver of love and care in young child's life, and um, this can mitigate the effect of any emotional damage in the future of such children, and which can promote sense of security and healthy self-esteem. And it would, in overall, help the general, the wholesome development of this child. The public hearing by the Senate Committee is one to give a thorough look at the four bill geared towards prison decongestion and the whole scale reform of the country prison. The B are to provide for a mother and baby unit for the care of female prisoners who are not mother, as well as Nigerian Prison and Correctional Services Act, among others. President Muhammad Buhari has directed the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Third Fund, to continue to offer meaningful and purposeful interventions in Nigerian higher education institutions 
to realize government desire to create knowledge-based economy. The President gave the directive at the second and third combined convocation ceremony of the Federal University of Doshima, Kastina State. President Buhari, represented by the Executive Secretary, National Universities Commission, Professor Abubakar Rashid, commended Tech Fund activities, describing its intervention as a catalyst for achieving the desired knowledge-based economy for Nigeria by the present administration. He urged the fund to continue in its meaningful and purposeful interventions to all public-owned tertiary institutions in the country. President Buhari expressed delight over the completion and inauguration of the multi-billion naira physical infrastructure project sponsored by Tenfold at the university. The Pan Northern Social Political Organization, Arewa Consultative Forum, has kicked against the creation of the proposed state police. The 36 state governors had endorsed the creation of state police to address rising insecurity in the country. The governor endorsement was a follow up after the vice president, Yemi Oshibayo, supported its creation. However, the Arriva Constitutive Forum noted that the creation of the state police as endorsed by the state governors and Oshibadu was a recipe for more crisis. The Secretary General of the Forum, Antony Sani in Cardinal said if created, the various state governors who abuse it the way the State Electoral Commission were being bastardized. The forum said it was opposed to the state police because the forum sees the problem of the police lie in the lack of training, lack of equipment, and also due to insufficient number of personnel. He argued further that given the paucity of resources, it will not be good judgment to start a state with the additional responsibility of state police. Reactions have continued to trail Arua Consultative Forum rejection of the proposed creation of the state police, saying the privilege will be abused. Heated reactions are coming from various organizations, including Middle Bed Group, Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afeniferi, and Civil Liberty Organizations. All Progressive Congress Restructuring Committee, led by the Cardinal State Governor Nasir Arifai, I recommended state police among other suggestions. But Arriva Constitutive Forum faulted the call for state police, noted that the creation of state police would lead to crisis. However, the Middle Belt Youth Council President, Ima Zompa, faulted the forum position, saying the position of the Northern Group was born out of fear. Also, President of National Council of Thief Youth, Chief John Akwashi, rejected Arriva Forum position and supported the creation of the state police. He said, the truth is that the state police remain the best option to tackle the rising security challenges in the country. Lovely place, right? Yes. What's wrong? You don't look happy. Take a look around. Why can't my hotel be like this? I knew something was wrong, but I've got solution. Solution? What? Nanet. Nanet? Nanet offers you design solutions, building plans and construction, Furnishing and equipping, financing, management, audit services, and many more services for a better hospitality business. Nanet, service with a smile.
Senior President Bukola Saraki has said that 25 out of 36 states of the Federation had voted on the Constitutional Amendment Bill passed by the National Assembly in 2017. Saraki added that moving forward, they cannot wait to receive the Constitutional Review document at the National Assembly so that they can move forward with the process of getting them assented to and cemented into the law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. According to him, both Nigerian Senate and House of Representatives have set up a joint committee to review the Constitution Review Amendment that did not say true initially. According to him, they are encouraged with the level of collaboration that they have received so far from the State House of Assemblies throughout the country. The National Assembly Joint Committee on Constitutional Review has formulated 33 bills with 29 concurrent pass by both chambers, while four were rejected by either of the two. A former governor of Abia State, Dr. Oji Kalu, has said only sickness can stop President Muhammad Wari from seeking re-election come 2019. Kalu, who spoke with journalists in Lagos, said the president was ready for the tax ahead. He said President Buhari is an honest person and he will tell Nigeria at the right time whether he will seek re-election or not. According to him, Buhari is working. The second Niger Bridge is under construction, even though things are difficult in the country. Kalu said, though the people of Southeast have been cheated in many ways, but President Buhari administration will provide a window for a new beginning for the Igbo. Kalu said it will be the right thing to do to allow the Southeast to take a shot at the presidency in 2023. The Central Bank of Nigeria, in continuation of its efforts to sustain forex liquidity in the country, on Monday released the sum of $210 million into different segments of the interbank foreign exchange market. The figure showed that $100 million was offered to authorize dealers in all sales segments of the market, while the small and medium enterprises segment got a sum of $55 million. The invisible segment, comprising tuition fees, medical payment, and basic travel allowance, among others, received $55 million. Isaac Okura for the CBN's acting director in charge of corporate communications confirmed the figures, saying the latest intervention is meant to meet customers' requests in various segments of the market. Okura for reiterates the bank's determination to continue its intervention in the interbank foreign exchange market in line with its pledge to sustain liquidity in the market and maintain stability. The CBN spokesman said the Apex Bank will continue to strategically manage the forex with a view to reducing the country's import bills and halting depletion of its foreign reserve. It will be recalled that last Monday the CBN had again lifted the forex market for $210 million to cater for request in the various segments of the forex market. Meanwhile, the Naira continued its stability in the forex market, exchanging at an average of 360 Naira to a dollar in the BDC segment of the market. Boko Haram jihadists yesterday carried out an attack on a girls' boarding school in northeast Nigeria, but the student and teacher fled for safety, witness said. According to an eyewitness account, cover of fighter in pickup truck descended on Dachi village in Busari area of Yobe state around 6 p.m. targeting the school. When they stormed the village, they began shooting and setting off explosives. This drew the attention of the girl in this girl's science secondary school so that the girl and the teachers 
were able to escape before the attacker got into the school. Unable to kidnap the girls, the Boko Haram fighter looted the school before fleeing. Meanwhile, military jets were deployed are in pursuit of the terrorists. It is unclear whether anyone was killed in the violence. It will be recalled that Boko Haram kidnapped more than 200 school girls from the town of Shibok in April 2014. A building used by the fraction of all progressive congress in Kaduna state have been demolished by the state government. The APC in Kaduna is split into three different fractions, although one backed by Governor Nasir El Fry is recognized by the party national leadership. Demolished building is located at Sambo Road and was demolished in the early hours of Monday in the presence of armed security operatives. State government is yet to give reasons for the demolition. A Twitter account believed to belong to a senator from the state, Suleiman Nkui, confirmed the demolition. According to him, in the early hour of today, Erufai personally drove the bulldozer accompanied by the ammo tank to destroy my house at 11B Sambo Road. According to him, this is a new law and fighting dirty with such low level of pettiness is indeed unprecedented in Kaduna State. The account Twitter sharing unprecedented in Kaduna State. Nkui and APT Senator vote to work again the re-election of Aero 5 is believed to be sponsoring the APC faction that is using demolished building. <laughs> 